G'day guys, it's Ozzy FIFA HD and welcome back to episode number 7 of Qualify a Champion on my channel. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to help me grow. I hope you enjoy this video. Prepare yourselves for an absolute fantastic start in this foot champions qualification. I had my first attempt, it was my only attempt. Let's jump into it. Before we start, I must admit that I'm not gonna say the whole name of the winner. By saying YYHJFH or every single time would just be a disaster. For my vocabulary, for my spit, it would just be a, a catastrophic thing for you guys to watch, just so I don't make a bit of a fool out of myself. For example, someone looking at YYHJFH's team, Musa, who is indeed YYHJFH's best player. I'd like to congratulate the winner, YYHJFH, for winning. And just when I'm looking at YYHJFH's JF Hedges team. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? I'm just going to refer to him as YY, if that's alright with you. <laughs> so before we jump into the gameplay, obviously you guys always love to see the squad that we do use um, for my man YY, who indeed won this week's qualification. Remember, if you do want to be entered by me, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and comment down below saying that you're having trouble qualifying for foot champions and I'm your best friend and I'll enter you into foot champions but as you see the squad that he did have he had the quadrado right mid version he is a fan fantastic card this year. I used him a lot in my main account. I used to use him a lot, uh, you know, when FIFA began, back in the beginning, uh, I used to use him time and time again in my Foot Champions Weekend League, and uh, he did wonders for me. I remember playing, I remember I remember paying like 15,000 coins for him or something stupid like that. He's only worth around 2k now, so I did lose a lot of money on him, but Quadrado just seems to always be there. My man had Martial. Martial, one of the best left wingers from the BPL this year. I'm sure you you guys know that and this week has an inform so I might think about picking that up for my own main account team but before we jump into the gameplay I'd like to thank you guys for the support that lately in the last few videos all the likes you know we've been hitting at least 14 to 20 likes every single video and I cannot cannot stress to you how much I appreciate that. Without further ado, we should get into the gameplay and you guys can see how we indeed went. Okay guys, so as we jump into the first game, as you see my opponent had that white kit and uh, we've come into a, an opponent with a, a decent squad, I must admit. It was uh, a very, very decent squad in fact, you know, a very, uh, probably, uh, I'd estimate that to be around a million coin squad uh, with, you know, the likes of Man of the Match, Stant Son. He had the uh, informed Kante, who was at least 350,000. So my friend here, he did have a few, you know, a few coins uh, to handy to him. But as you see, at the start of each game, we changed to the 4-3-1-2 because that's my formation. I've found that that formation works for me this year. And I put Musa uh, and, and Rashford up top with Martial at that cam position. I also had get him behind and get him behind, stay back while attacking and stay back back while attacking for both my wing bats. We started off very well in this game. You see, I'll throw in to, uh, to my boy Musa there, through to Martial, a nice pass into Mena and a brilliant finish in the 45th minute, making it 1-0 and uh, I, you know, I like hitting that goal just before 45 minutes is up because, you know, it gives you an edge after half time because, you know, people, when they concede before half time, they sort of get a little bit down and, you know, it's not... It's uh, just something about, uh, you know, scoring in the 45th minute, uh, which really does benefit you. As you see, Rashford doing a, a, a fake shot there. Rashford doing what Rashford does best. He passes it back into, into Kante. Nice hold-up play there. Not Kante, sorry. And Barkley. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Barkley, just sit down for a second, mate. Just sit down for a second. Look at that strike from Barkley. What a goal that was, lads. What an absolute brilliant strike. Barkley chilling on the edge of the 18, and he slashed that home uh, into the top corner. Brilliant goal from him there. Nice body frame from Musa, and, you know, a nice shot, but unfortunately it was uh, deflected. However, I had some nice composure in this goal here. Sterling down the line, using his uh, very good agility, and Barkley's able to pop that home for his second goal of the game. And I'll tell you what, I never used Barkley before. I might have used him in the last episode, but I never used him, you know, on a, on a regular basis like I have with, you know, Musa, Martial, etc. I'm thinking about getting him because, you know, as a super sub, because Barkley for me was fantastic. I mean, he's not going to be the most impact... And what a goal that was, by the way. What an absolute brilliant goal. The ball roll into Rashford. Rashford doing what Rashford does best. And a nice finish into the bottom corner. But what I was saying was Barkley. He's not going to be the most impactful super sub, but he will be a solid... And, you know, he'll always... He won't let you down, if you know what I mean. But uh, as you see, Barty, 
slaps that home into the corner of the goal and it was a nice finish I must have, must add but it was a lucky goal in my opinion because I was dominating Martial though with the turn and the finish into the bottom corner what a goal that was the outside of Fort Travella low driven shot and uh, they always score those you know in this game unless a, a defender gets a block in but another goal there from Coleman makes it 3-1 late in the game and uh, yeah that was lights out for my opponent as I give him dab number three and it was a nice finish, actually. Look at that uh, strike from Coleman. As you see, dominated that game. 3-1 in the end. Ten shots to his two or three or so, something like that. And uh, we're into the semi-final from our first entry, I must admit. He had... Just, just, just take a second and look at that team. I mean, seriously, when you look at my team, the one that I was using for YY, my boy YY... <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> he uh, he had only around a twenty thousand coin team. But when you look at that, that's at least a one point five to two million coin team. And uh, eventually, I do beat him, as you see in this game. But as you see, nice composure down the line. Another one of those types of goals from the corner, where I just dribble using Sterling's dribbling down the line, and he's able to triple tap it across the box. Where Zuma, of all people, was able to top that, t tap that home into the uh, into the goal. A nice goal, in my opinion. Very nice goal. As you see, I put that through to Rashford. He does what he does best, and uh, a nice sweat across to Martial, who never is missing an open goal. Although I did miss an open goal last weekend, league actually with Martial and that was very disappointing I must admit but as you see a nice ball into uh, Tarant, uh, Mena, a nice one too and a really nice finish from Musa I mean that was a brilliant tick to take goal there uh, just after I scored the, the second one and uh, he just gives him down number three to uh, pretty much give my opponent you know lights out however he wasn't all that out of the game as you see I bring the keeper out and hit Royee look at that shot into the top corner uh, unstoppable, unstoppable for Butland and uh, I was very unlucky, as you see here. Yeah, what, what the, what am I doing? You know that that chip there, but it was a bad, bad clearance from the keeper there. We even set the ball in Rashford. Oh my god! Just, just sit down. Just, just, just stop. Just stop, Rashford. I mean, for me, he was fantastic. Look at the shot to make it forward. And as I'm watching the replay, it was lights out for my opponent as he hits that rage quit button and uh, the connection was lost. So you know, yet another final in the first round. We've. Uh, this is the third um, third time I've, um, I'm entering somebody into it, and two out of three times it's only taken us the first try to enter them into the Foot Champions Weekend lead. So I'm very happy with how it's been going. As you see, my opponent rage quit at the 73rd minute. I don't blame him after being 4 1 down and uh, absolute domination from myself as we move into the final of this qualification stage. As you see, my opponent had a nice, uh, nice kit, he had the Christmas kit that was given away by EA. And uh, just uh, once again, you know, I, I shit my pants once again by looking at his team. Another one of those sort of, you know, crappy little super teams that will always be a pain in the ass. He had Dybala, the, uh, the SBC Hazard, in form, can't I? I mean, come on. Can you not make it any harder for me? He had a great left side, a great right side with the Serie A. And uh, we were able to have a nice start, however, though. As you see, the keeper had a bad clearance. Very lucky for me to head it down with Martial, and he's not missing from there. My boy Musa, who is a very good card. I've always used, always used him in FIFA, and he's always been great for me. You know, he's always got good, good pace. He's got decent-ish finishing. And he's always going to score you that goal, but we're able to hold on to make it 1-0. And my boy YY is indeed the winner of this qualification. And he's indeed going to be playing the Foot Champions Weekend League. Because indeed, why am I saying indeed so much? Indeed, he's entered into the Weekend League. And uh, I'd like to say congratulations to you, my friend. And as I always say... You know, good luck, and that's the only thing I can really say because it is a very stressful game mode, and I hope you, you know, enjoy playing it. However, I hope you don't give yourself a heart attack like I have done, you know, a few times. But uh, that a bit for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Can we hit 10 likes on this video? We have been lately, and I must thank you for that support you guys have been giving me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and that's it for me. I hope you guys have a good day. I'm having a good day, <laughs> and peace.